So I have made a little area over here for Monkey outside because Monkey loves being outside. How about we make Monkey on the wall? I think that could be kind of cool. We could go into the hmm simple shape section and we're gonna put his face maybe right here on this wall. What do you guys think? Make sure to use our code I am Sana if you're buying Robux. Make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to my channel and visit IamSanaShop.com for Sana and Moody merch. Hi, my name is Sana. Welcome back to my channel today. I am super, super excited because I am going to be making my dog's dream home and adopt me. And it's not just any dog. I actually, well, me and Jelly actually adopted another dog and I am so excited. It was just a couple of days ago so everything is really really new and i'm just so excited for you all to get to know him his name is monkey his name was monchito but we decided to name him monkey when we adopted him he is around two to four years old we're not exactly sure so we're just gonna go in the middle and say that he is three years old but he is such a sweet boy and today i am going to be building his dream home in adopt me and i'm super super excited about it of course, I'm going to be posting some pictures of beautiful monkey throughout this video and maybe even some little videos so you guys can see him. But he is super, super cute and super playful. When we adopted him, we could definitely tell that he had never been inside of a house before, which is quite crazy. I mean, as him being probably four years old and he's never been inside of a house so the first time when we got him in here he was very very scared and worried and it was really really sad i am just really happy that he's never gonna have to be abandoned ever again um we're pretty sure that he was used for hunting in spain they use a lot of these podencos which they're called for hunting and it's just not the nicest to be honest because when the hunter do not want them anymore a lot of them just you know abandon their dogs and luckily AAA found monkey uh, or someone brought monkey to AAA and that of course led him to us so I'm super super happy and grateful for AAA for all the hard work that they do they are a non-profit organization and all of the money goes to all their dogs and cats. They have hundreds of dogs and cats right now who are all looking for a home. So yeah. All right, I'm gonna make monkeys beautiful beautiful area out here but it's difficult uh i made like this little wa water area i don't know way too much about monkey yet of course i've spent a little bit of time with him now but not enough to know all his favorite things i do know though that he loves toys he loves to play with toys and hmm, this actually looks like the little house he was staying at at triple a until we came and picked him up i actually volunteered at AAA and I walked dogs there for a few weeks and it was such an amazing experience but I don't think I'm gonna be able to go and walk more dogs there now because I just fall in love with all of the dogs and I don't think my family want me to bring home any more dogs after this right now we have four adopted dogs and we don't have much more space in the house now unless we get a huge 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 mansion I don't think we're gonna be able to get any dogs anytime soon but I'm super 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 happy with the dogs that I have because they're absolutely perfect and they are all unique and different and they complement each other in a different way and they're just adorable so I have made a little area over here for monkey outside because monkey loves being outside how about we make monkey on the wall I think that could be kind of cool we could go into the hmm simple shape section and we're gonna put his face maybe right here on this wall what do you guys think we need a shield as well for his ears he has some huge ears he has actually his ears are almost bigger than nala's if you've seen nala's ears you know nala's ears are really big but his is even bigger actually about double the size of nala so he is a big dog he is a really big dog <laughs> which makes me feel really really safe because I know that he's gonna protect us. Okay, so these ears look a little bit like a cat's ears, but that's kind of what his ears look like. So let's go ahead. He is kind of like a orangey brownish color, but I guess I'm gonna go with this orange color and then I can go for maybe like a brownish color here on his face. Oh, this is looking so cute. 
let's see. We can go into more simple shapes and maybe add a... Hmm. Should we add a smaller disc onto here? Because he does have quite a, like, a long nose. Um, hmm. We need to add some bows, of course. Oh, whoa. Oh, look at that. That's a big nose right there. I think this might be a little bit too big for him. <laughs> oh, maybe we should make a cuter little teeny tiny nose right here. Oh, that looks so cute. And he also has like a little pink nose like Nala. And then, of course, we need to add his eyes as well, which are these beautiful brown colored eyes, which I love. So this is monkey this is what monkey looks like <laughs> you guys will have to let me know how good of a um, artist i am and <laughs> drop me in the comment section down below i don't know if this really looks too much like monkey but i think it looks adorable maybe we should add some whiskers though we could add some whiskers to make it even more accurate so i'm gonna go ahead and get this modern sign we need to get actually quite a few of these modern signs and we're gonna have to make some whiskers oh yeah that was too much one two three four maybe please no okay what about one two three four five is that gonna work oh yes it finally worked are these whiskers maybe a little bit too big i don't know could be a little bit too big <laughs> oh no let's try this and i'm going to be adding five whiskers on each one and then i'm going to be making a little bit different like this moving them away so that i don't have to get even more signs for each side because then it would be more expensive but here we go let's add the last whisker right here and that looks pretty cute the only thing is that it sticks out a little bit over here so i think i'm gonna go ahead and get another bowl maybe is that does that even does that work I put another bowl on top of it oh yes look how cute that looks he's so adorable i love it i love it i think he looks perfect now oh it's so dark in here we need to make sure there's a bunch of lights in here let's look at this the fall section and maybe add some little lights over here we could add a little light over here where his little house is and we could add some more lights over here but just because i'm making this huge outside area does not mean he's gonna stay in the garden of course he's gonna stay in the house with us at all times but of course he loves running around in the garden with nala and playing so of course we need to give him this awesome amazing outside area so he can run and play around maybe we should add some kind of fencing though because i think that he is a he's he's really really good at running so we need to make sure that he can't run too far away so we can't find him again we would never want to lose him of course something i really want to do this year and is i want to try to raise quite a lot of money for AAA to help them because they are really really struggling when i was up there all of a sudden there were a bunch of new puppies that just arrived someone who drops them off and just says they don't want them anymore and then of course AAA needs to take care of all these puppies and all these puppies needed medical medical care like they for example had worms in their tummies they needed food there is just so much that they need to do for all these dogs and they never know what the next day holds if they're there's going to be more puppies that are going to arrive how many are going to need surgeries and all that and for that it's really really difficult for AAA to be able to improve their shelter it's it's just constantly going to medical bills and new dogs arriving that i think it would be so nice if we'd be able to try to raise some money so that AAA would be able to relax a little bit sit back and take care of the dogs instead of constantly having to chase bills all the time so i really really hope that i'm gonna be able to raise some money this year i don't know what that could be though what do you guys suggest that i should do to raise money for AAA? something that i was thinking about i could start a charity streaming channel or so where basically i just stream and then of course people can donate if they want to but of course the stream will generate some revenue from youtube overall anyways so i think it could be really nice it's a way that people just have to share the stream in order to raise money and not all, always have to give their own money if if someone is not able to donate money of their own so i think that could be really really fun if we could do that but otherwise, I really want to try to release some more items on IamSantaShop.com. Remember, we did the bottles last year that we were selling for AAA. And 
that did really well. I think everyone really, really enjoyed it. And we actually managed to raise quite a few thousand for AAA, which is super, super nice and it was super rewarding. So I think something like that would be super fun again. So what would you guys want to see released on IamSantaShop.com that could raise some more money to AAA? Let me know. All right, so let's see. I really like the downstairs area right now. And I know that this video is gonna be a lot of talking about AAA and the charity that they do is, but it's because I'm so grateful because without them, I would not have the amazing dogs that I have today and they just really deserve it. None of these people make money from going there. They are volunteers and they take, they go there when you, for example, are sitting Friday evening, eating your popcorn on the couch, watching TV. They might be up there working super hard, spending their free time helping abandoned dogs. So they really do this, all this, because they are amazing people and I really wanna help them as much as possible. And I'm sure many of you would like to help them too. But yeah, of course, this video is gonna be an exception. I'm not going to be talking about them all the time, but of course, I definitely want to help them and do everything that I possibly can. All right, I think the downstairs area is looking really, really good. We have the upstairs area up here, and I think for this area, I want to, ooh, well, something actually that I really wanted to add for Munchie's um, room is, hmm, let's see. I wanted to add, I wanted, wait, it's the baby section. Where's the baby section? Where's the baby section? Where's the baby section? Oh, here it is. I wanted to add this box of toys because he loves toys, of course. I think that fits in perfect. I think he would love a ball pit, to be honest with you, but I don't think it fits in here, so I don't think it's a good idea to squeeze this in here. But I think that we should definitely add some more. Also, I think we go from calling him Monchito to Monchi to Monkey, but of course his name is gonna be Monkey, but yeah. Something we were also thinking, it would have been adorable if we named him Simba because Nala's name is Nala, and then it would have been Nala and Simba. That would have been really, really cute. Oh. Wait, thinking about this, I should have added some of this water right here. That looks cute, I like that. Some more water downstairs. Um. Need to make sure our dogs have water in their bowls. Everyone, go make sure your pets have water in the bowls right now. Very important, very important. I'm gonna put this beautiful, beautiful castle bed right here. I'm gonna make it a, hmm, a blue color for Munchie, and I also want to add, hmm, do we want to add maybe like a bathtub or so for him so he can be nice and squeaky clean? Maybe that's a good idea. We could add a bathtub right here, and maybe a dog bone rug right here. I think that looks cute. We could make it into like a, a flower, like this. <laughs> I think that looks really cute. And then of course, we do need some of these food bowls over here too. I think this is looking so cute. Let's see, do we wanna add some hearts for, for Monkey maybe? We could add some pink hearts too. Just like this. And then something I want to do is get some mirrors in here to make it look like we are outside or we can look outside like windows because I do know Monkey likes a nice view looking at all the little birds and looking at, you know, all the other dogs walking outside or he likes having a little bit of a view, of course. I think this is looking so adorable. I do think that we should add one more bed in case in case Nala or Molly wants to come for a sleepover. So let's go ahead and put another, maybe another castle bed, or should we maybe go for a rectangular bed this time? I think that fits in the corner right over here. This is looking so cute. I love it, I love it so much. Let's move these rugs just a little bit more. And I think it's done. I'm really liking the way this house looks and I think it is perfect for Monkey. And I could of course add some more details later if I want to, but I wanted to make this video to celebrate that we have adopted Monkey and I'm super, super happy. He's so amazing, he's so sweet, he's so cuddly, he's so playful, he's so calm, he is, 
he walks so good on the leash he hasn't pooed or peed, uh, peed inside which is amazing because he's never been inside of a house he's so well behaved but he's also very traumatized and he needs a lot of work he needs to gain some self-confidence and hopefully he's gonna do that with us and i'm just so excited to be spending the next hopefully hopefully 15 years with him so i'm super super excited and make sure to follow me on instagram and on twitter and where you can actually have more pictures of monkey because i'll be posting a lot there also i wanted to leave triple a's website in the comment section down below that's where you can donate also i wanted to add their amazon wish list they are going to be sending it to me soon and updated Amazon wishlist. So I'm going to add that Amazon wishlist to the description as soon as possible so that if you do not want to donate our money directly to them, you can also order things on their Amazon wishlist that will be sent directly to them. Dog food, dog beds, towels, uh, blankets, toys, food, all of it. So, yeah. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I love you all so much. Hope you all have an amazing day. I'm gonna see you soon with another video. Bye!